any big warm welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well, staying safe, all of that lovely stuff. So in Wednesday's video, you may have seen some of my new additions. I did mention them briefly, but of course I had to do an updated tattoo tour, tattoo tag, because you guys that really liked the first one and we have six more since then. Six? I have 16 tattoos now. I can't believe it, but here we are this is where you end up so yeah i kind of want you to do a little breakdown i want to show you all of them kind of give you a little reason as to why a lot of my tattoos don't have any kind of sentimental meaning but they do have kind of like a little reason why i wanted it uh kind of give you an indication on price some of them were from about three years ago so remembering price isn't always easy and i do get a lot of my tattoos bundled together uh just for ease so i'll get like six tattoos in a day uh, so I can give you the price for all of those six tattoos, basically. I'm also going to kind of go over pain, uh, kind of rate it out of 10, but everybody's pain threshold is different. So if I found something really painful, it doesn't mean that you will or vice versa. Little disclaimer before I start this video, tattoos are a very personal thing. My tattoos are very personal to me. If you don't like tattoos, I don't know why you're here. Or if you don't like any of my tattoos specifically, brilliant, entitled to your own opinion but keep it to yourself. So now that that is out of the way, let's get in to today's video. So like I mentioned in my previous tattoo video, all of my tattoos are done by the amazingly talented Lucy, and she is in the south of the UK, in Suffolk. She has an Instagram, I will link that in the description bar below. I mentioned her in my last video as well, but all of my tattoos are done by Lucy. She is amazing, an amazing artist, and just a beautiful person inside and out, and I always like to go and see her. So I will link her Instagram, so be sure to check it out and give her a follow. If you're looking for tattoos in my area, I would not recommend anybody else just trust me go with lucy so anyway i don't kind of know how to start i think we're going to start from the top and work down i think that might be the most logical thing i don't want to do it in chronological order because i mean i'd well, probably get confused like i said there is also another tattoo video so you can watch that i probably remembered a bit more information on that one yeah, so you can give that one a watch if you want to i will link it but anyway let's start from the top let's start from this little one here just a little heart on my shoulder as you can see this was actually my first ever tattoo um i got four tattoos in my first ever tattoo sitting that was the first one i got just to get used to the needle again all of my tattoos in that setting i got four i think they're about 80 to 100 pounds something like that uh definitely not expensive the thing about lucy is she is such good value for money I think talking about pricing on a tattoo tour video isn't always helpful because every artist is different. So all of your designs will be worth different amounts of money. I mean, it's best to speak to your artist directly, but I will just say that all my tattoos are super, super affordable. There's never been a tattoo where I've been like, that's ridiculously priced. And I've never come away not happy. So I'm definitely getting the service that I pay for. But in terms of pain, this was just, I, I wouldn't even say it was like a one. It literally didn't feel like anything and it was over in a second. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about is this one here. Um, my most recent tattoos, they are at the PD stage. So they look a little bit dodgy, that is why. This isn't a new tattoo, but we did touch it up. And it is just a bouquet of flowers. Now, this is a matching tattoo with my mum and it has a lot of meaning to me. We picked out the flowers especially so we have forget me nots uh, to remember family members that have passed away there is also thistles and heather on there that link back to scotland i'm not scottish i have no scottish ties but some of my most favorite memories are going to scotland with my family so that is why we got those flowers so yeah mum also has the exact same tattoo which gives it even more of a massive meaning uh in terms of pain uh maybe like a four something like that it's weird when you have a tattoo in this area it feels like it's in your armpit so i think it was probably about a four something like that but definitely tolerable okay next oh i always forget about this one i've got this little one here this is super freaking cute it's just a little fern now this wasn't even a planned tattoo uh, at the end of my sitting i had a little bit of time left and she says is there anything that you want and i showed her this picture did it freehand jobs are good and absolutely love it uh, this probably like one, maybe two out of 10. Sometimes the wrist is a little bit stingy, uh, but again, over really, really, really quickly. Um, has no meaning. I just like it. You'll see that a lot of my tattoos are 
botanical floral that kind of stuff that's just the kind of tattoos that i like i think they're really really pretty um so that is why a lot of my stuff is like that this one we'll talk about this one Ooh, i can't really show you i'll put up a picture if it allows me but it is just this word here but it's two words actually and this says be present now this carries such a lot of meaning for me as someone with anxiety i'm constantly panicking about the future i'm constantly thinking about what happened in the past how we could change it all of that stuff and i just need to be present i need to enjoy the life that i'm living right now the moment that i'm in right now because i won't get that moment again so that is why i got this little quote as you would say here so yeah that one does have a bit of meaning um i just like the meaning behind it and the meaning behind being present being in the moment in terms of pain that was literally like a three it was over really really quickly i mean that part of the arm that's the first tattoo i've had like on my forearm and it was okay Nothing really to mention there. I mean, it didn't really hurt that much. Uh, moving on to these two. Actually, maybe I have 17 because that's two butterflies. I was counting that as one tattoo. I can't believe that. I've been counting that as one tattoo, but obviously it's actually two. So I've got these two butterflies here, which are really, really cute. Those are healing as well. Those are one of my most recent tattoos. Um, in terms of getting butterflies, me and my mum have always had a thing about butterflies. I don't really know how to explain it without getting soppy. It's just a thing that we have. So that is why I got the two butterflies to represent me and my mum. And I got it next to the tattoo that me and my mum have matching. I just wanted it there. I just thought it carried a nice meaning to have just like a little, a little area. So I'm now going to move on to this arm, I think. I think we're done on this arm. Yeah. So the first one on this arm is this one on my wrist, which again is new. Uh, this is a moon with an R. Um, it's really soppy, obviously it has meaning. It links to my partner, I'm not gonna go into it, but that is why I have this one. And then on the back of my arm, I don't really know how to show you. I have this one, I'll pop up a photo, but this says gratitude. Now, gratitude is something massive to me. I practice gratitude all the time. I have my little gratitude journal, and I think it kind of relates to being present and being in the moment, to kind of just be thankful for what I've got. And, you know, it helps bring me down and ground me sometimes when I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed or anxious, just to think of all the things that I'm grateful for in that moment. So that is why I got that word. Um, in terms of pain, I've got to do the pain for the one on my wrist. That was nothing, probably like a three, four maybe. Um, this one behind my arm, again, maybe like a two. That one was absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, those were those ones. The next one I'm going to do is this quote here. Now, this says, no rain, no flowers. Um, and I absolutely love this quote. It basically means that without going through a little bit of something, you can't grow, you can't develop. So whenever life kind of seems tough, it means that you're growing, you're developing and it will make you a stronger person from it. It's just something that I believe in. It's just kind of resilience to me. Uh, when things come up and, you know, it feels overwhelming, it feels a lot in the moment. I just have to remember that it will pass and that it will help grow me as a person, basically. In terms of pain, I'd actually say that one was probably about a five. Uh, maybe a six uh, because in this area like I said on the other arm it feels like it's in your armpit but because this came up further it felt a little bit more stingy so yeah I'd say that was probably maybe a five five and a half at a push but again none of them are crazy like they're tolerable that's the thing with tattoo pain like it's hard to describe it's more annoying uh than painful it's like a cat scratch but obviously you can push the cat off you can't really push a tattoo needle off unless you want a wonky ass tattoo the next one is this one here and this is my favorite tattoo it is also new and it is healing it's in the peeling stage and this is just a fine line drawing um of a lady with some flowers no meaning behind this one i just think it's beautiful i sent lucy over some ideas and she did this one up herself that's another thing. Sometimes I have ideas that obviously I can't put down to paper. I'm not an artist. But whenever I mention it, Lucy just comes up with the most beautiful designs and they're always spot on. Paying for this one, maybe actually like 
a six and a half, seven at a push, because it was quite a big piece. There was quite a bit of shading. And again, we're in this like dodgy area that feels like it's in your freaking armpit. So yeah, that one was a little bit sensitive and it did take quite a while because of the detail on it, but it's fine. You just grin and bear it. So those are all the tattoos that are on my arms that you can see right now. Loving the bingo wings. The next ones are on the rest of my body. I'm going to try and put up photos. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I'm praying that it does work so that you guys can see. Because I don't really fancy taking my kit off. So the next ones I'm going to be talking about are on either side of my ribs. So on this side of my ribs, I have, oh, hopefully this works, otherwise it will look ridiculous. I have this piece here. I have a big piece. It's like a rose floral piece this is definitely my biggest piece um i absolutely adore this it definitely looks really cute when you're in a bikini yeah this is my biggest piece uh this one took the longest obviously because it's my biggest and this one was the most painful and i am probably gonna give it a solid eight and a half possibly even a nine the rib area is notoriously painful um and it's also because it kind of affected my breathing because it was on my ribs and whenever i'd take a breath in it hurt more because it was kind of pushing down a little bit more um so that's why the ribs are kind of an awkward place so yeah it was quite painful and it did take a while but it was a hundred percent worth it i think tattoos on the ribs look so amazing um so i'm obviously glad that i grinned and bared it but yeah definitely my most painful one so on the other side, kind of around here, I have this tattoo and this is a quote. And this says fire starts with sparks. Um, again, it just means that you have to begin somewhere. Like even if you're at the start of your story, whatever that might be about, that everything and anyone starts somewhere. And, you know, you just build up to where you want to be. You grow as a person, you blossom into a butterfly. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. But that's basically what that quote means. Um, again, that was quite painful because of the area, but it didn't take as long. So maybe like six, six and a half kind of thing. So moving down, I then have the single word that I need to get touched out because your girl got thick over lockdown. Um, but it is on the side of my fly and it looks like this. And it says moments again links to be present live in the moment and just to live for each moment basically so that's why i got that and then on either side of my hip bones i have two little pieces as well on my why am i so bad at lefts and rights on my right hand side i have a little crescent moon again i took a photo but it's not the best photo um uh it's just a really small crescent moon got a little bit of shading it's cute looks nice in a bikini and then on the other side i've got this really nice dainty little rose um that looks really really nice i think that's beautiful and it is stayed really really well like the detail on it has stayed absolutely beautiful the one on the side of my hip i literally didn't even feel it maybe a one something like that and ones on each hip bone they started off at about a four um but then they went numb so then they were like a zero but yeah they started off a little bit painful um and then they just went numb so uh, going down from there i'm literally trying to do this in my head and make sure that i've remembered them all um on my left ankle i have a sun and a moon uh this is an old tattoo uh, i recently had it touched up because i had a shaving accident where i literally cut deep enough to take a tattoo out yeah uh that's why i don't shave my legs that often but anyway it's on the ankle it's like dodgy area and i took I, I gouged a little bit of the tattoo out but it's fine lucy touched it up and it looks brand new so that is healing in terms of pain not gonna lie i find the ankles are really painful as well so i'd say that was probably like a six six and a half it's very stingy on the ankle um and yeah and then on my other ankle i have oh, i love this it's like a floral chain try and put up the photo uh, this is a recent one as well it goes all the way around it doesn't link at the back it kind of like drapes down it's absolutely beautiful again lucy just designed this one um pain it was quite painful and it did take a while because i had to get into various positions and kind of move around and when it goes to the back near the achilles that kills probably like a seven to be honest yeah maybe a seven that one was pretty painful but 
I find like the areas that are the most painful are the areas the tattoos just look the nicest so it's sod's law but anyway I think that's all of my tattoos I'm just gonna count them Eight, nine, ten. I'm pretty sure I have 17. Yeah, 17 tattoos, I think. I've already made my bloody thumbnail, so I have to go and change that now because I can't count. So yeah, 17 tattoos, and I love every single one of them. Um, like I said, some have meaning, some don't. But tattoos are personal. I love all my tattoos. I've never regretted any of my tattoos. Uh, I think it's important to get them touched up every now and then just to keep them looking fresh because like anything, they can start to just look not like they did when they're fresh because you grow as a person things fade so yeah i think that's a really important thing to note when you're getting tattoos as it's not always necessarily you'll have one tattoo and it'll stay like that forever some of my tattoos have stayed really really well but it depends on the area um i know notoriously hand tattoos they can fade really easily so it's just something to bear in mind with the kind of commitment of a tattoo that you may need to get it topped up every once in a while but like i said all my tattoos are done by the amazing Lucy. I will tag her accounts in the description bar below. So please go and check her out and check out her amazing work. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know what tattoos you have or any future videos that you want to see from me. Pop them in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Please, you won't regret it. <laughs> there's just something for everyone on there so please don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you aren't already for the month of june i'm uploading twice a week because i'm kind like that so every sunday and every wednesday at 7 p.m uk time there will be a new video up on my channel so make sure you have your little bell on which will notify you when those do go up but i hope you have a lovely day morning evening whenever you're watching this video i hope that you enjoyed the video and i will see you all on wednesday's video Take care. Bye, guys.